my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew chapter 27. From the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over the land. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sekbathami, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Of all the agony of that torturous day, the lacerations of the scourging, the chafing of the thorns around his head, the convulsions of his tormented, dehydrated body as it hung in the heat of the day, nothing reaches the depth of this anguished cry of desolation. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus, who found his purpose and strength in the presence of God, who was sustained by the immediacy of his relationship with God, and who endured all by the tangible power of God, always at work within him, always a centre of vitality and peace, found himself totally alone on the cross. Jesus, whose very being was God, found himself utterly, absolutely, despairingly cut off from all that gives life and breath. Cut off from all that gives purpose and hope. Cut off from the source of his being. Cut off even from himself. Plumb in the depths of the human condition to walk in the place of the utter absence of God. In the place of sinners. In the place of those who reject God. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In those words is the central mystery of the crucifixion, which cannot be fully comprehended. That there is no despair so deep, or evil so overwhelming, or place so far removed from joy, light and love, from the very heart of God, that God has not been there before us and where God cannot meet us and bring us home. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Lord Jesus, you gave your life for us. You suffered and died that we might be whole.
let us pray. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Lord Jesus, by your cry of desperate honesty, rid us of superficial faith, which is afraid of the dark. Not so that we might be justified pessimists, but so that we might discover profound joy. Give it us when we need it. Give us the courage to doubt, to rage, to question, to rail against heaven until we know we are heard. We do not ask for easy answers to hard times. There are many who can offer those. But we ask for a sense of your solidarity. That will be enough. Enough to let us know that we do not walk or cry alone. And that will enable us to go through the dark and find light again in the morning. Amen.